Hey, this is Ben with Pro Performance Roofing. I'm doing an inspection in Apex right now. Customer has leaks in a uh, interior bedroom. And you see these marks behind me. Um, there's three separate spots where two of them are low nails. And then the other one is a framing nail that has backed out of the roof, through the roof shingle, which is causing the leak. And then there's a few low nails throughout the field shingles, but um, Typically with a low nail, if you were to look here, you can see that there's caulking that's pre-existing. So that would generally indicate one of two scenarios or there's two general scenarios that I can kind of come up with since I wasn't the one doing the roof. Um, either this happened during installation and the crew that did the roof just put caulking over it instead of fixing it, or this homeowner has not owned this house since it was first built it's only 12 years old um, the prior homeowner could have noticed that and just had someone put caulking on it nonetheless whether it was the original roof installer that noticed it they should have fixed it and if it was a roofing contractor that looked at this they should have at least suggested fixing it um, if that's not what they did but they did put caulking on it you can see the nail is starting to show because the caulking has failed and then if I make my way up the slope, you can see that there is actually a roof sheathing nail or a framing nail that has backed out of the shingle. And that's exactly what's causing the leak because this is directly above the bedroom. So um, one of the things that can cause this type of issue on a roof is either the nail was not fully driven into the roof truss or rafter when the roof sheathing was installed or there was just some movement or expansion and contraction that caused this nail to work its way out of the roof and puncture the shingle to allow water to come in but again one telltale sign is there's caulking on it so either that was noticed during original installation or at some point after but nonetheless that should be repaired this roof is repairable and then up here you just have two face nails that are going through the roof shingles which could either be contributing to the active leak or eventually will leak but i know for sure this is the one that's causing the leak this one here and then if you go out on the slope you know i could scan every row of shingles if i wanted but you know additional low nails which to me i would believe this is from original installation you can look here there's another one you can see it's starting to rust out and then i can make my way a little bit further down the front slope and then there's two relatively close together so all in all um, it's important to make sure that after your roof is installed that it's inspected whether you hire a private inspector to look at it or the roofing contractor that did the, the repairs or replacement. And then here's the other one as well. So anyways, it's important to pop chalk lines. It's important to make, that you're, make sure that your installers are using the proper exposure when they're laying the shingles. And I'll often just inspect three or four inconspicuous areas on a roof and check the nail placement and scan the overall roof to see and make sure that there are no existing low nails if i were to ever find a low nail of course i would certainly tell my installer to replace that shingle uh, but they know good and well to do that um, so really the importance of this video is to just understand that there are small minor things that you cannot see from the ground and that you won't notice until three five ten years down the road so it's important to properly vet your roofing contractor, ask all of these questions. You know, what kind of ridge cap do you use? Do you flip shingles or use a, a true starter strip when you're installing the starter strip shingle? Um, you know, what are you gonna do with my bushes and plants when you tear off the roof? You know, how are you gonna protect that? So all of those types of questions are very important when you're vetting your roofing contractor if you feel like this kind of information is helpful and educational for you in deciding who you want to hire to do your roof, then you can feel free to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Pro Performance Roofing. You can find us online, www.properformanceroofing.com, 
or you can send us an email, info at properformanceroofing.com. And if you're local to my service area, you can give me a call. My phone number is 919-880-9785. Look forward to earning your business, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.